Hey guys, got these cedar fence boards here. They're uh, five and a half by five eighths inch thick and they're six feet long. I'm not gonna use all six feet. I'm gonna do some DIY shutters here. Okay, next thing you need to do, that I'm gonna do is get them all sanded down. Okay, I'm gonna go three wide per side. Okay, I've got the three boards laid out. I'm gonna use these DeWalt clamps to clamp them up. But first, I'm going to make sure they got equal spacing in between them. I'm going to use these paint sticks. Okay, all this is is just a rough test fit right now, just to make sure that the gaps are how we want them. But now, I'm going to go ahead and cut them to length. All right, for the cross members, I'm going to cut one of these boards in half, which is this one here. I'm going to rip it right down the center. Okay, I want these to be exactly right, so these are five and a half. Five and a half exactly. So half of five and a half is 2.75. So I'm gonna set this to 2.75. All right, now I'm gonna cut these to length right there, right there. So now I'm gonna take this piece, flip it up like that, scoot it off to the side, and I'm gonna cut a 45 here and a 45 there. Just set this to 45. Just cut it like that. Sand it all up. Just take and see how it looks here. All right, that's kind of the idea there. All right, now that I got the pieces cut that I'm going to want, I'm going to go ahead and, and unclamp this and then cut these long pieces to 48 inches and then sand these two pieces down. All right, so I made a mark right there at 48. And then what I did is I clamped them all three together and I can just cut them all three at once. There's the sanded one and the unsanded. Now I'm just going to put the spacers in there and I have to decide how far down on each one to come in. The paint sticks were too fat so we're just using kind of the popsicle sticks for spacers. Plus this wood as it gets uh, older is going to shrink up a little bit so those gaps will slightly grow. So it's kind of accounting for that as well. So just popsicle sticks for that, that spacing in there. And then we're gonna go seven inches from the end to the bottom of that board. And same thing for that side, seven inches from there to there. And we use these one inch brad nails. I wanna make sure I pop them in there, but they don't shoot out the back. Or when I pop, pop them on the front, on the back, they don't shoot out the front. These are 18 gauge. Okay, I got these boards tacked on, one in each, one, two, three, one, two, three. And I'm gonna go ahead and flip it over and nail it from the back. Gotta do it at an angle too. It'll help lock it in there a little bit. About four, four in each. Valspar one coat exterior clear silk sealer. That one on the right there has got a coat on it. We coated the back side too. This is just getting ready for its first coat. Here's the screws that I'm going to use to screw this to the house. These things have a starter head on them. I got two inch. Kind of a little bit pretty cordless. The starter head is bit.
I've got these things here, the decoration for the outside of them. Gives it a cool look. Got that nail. You just push them in or pound them in. The thing that's nice about these is they cover up your installation holes too. And then we just use a rubber mallet. 